Well, 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 what do we have here? Yet another delay for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. <sighs> Hi guys, Penguin Overlord here. Um, it is 11 o'clock at night, so I'm going to try to make this... Well, actually, just before 11 o'clock, two minutes, whatever. Uh, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible and as professionally as possible. Uh, now that I've actually had a chance to calm down <laughs> from uh, learning news this afternoon that the immersive mode and the engineer class are delayed. And this is like, I believe, the third delay in terms of content. Because I think originally the raid and the Terminator event was supposed to come out in October. That didn't happen. And then, whatever. So, let's go through this. Ghosts, earlier this year, we shared the new immersive mode. The engineer class were coming by the end of February. After careful consideration by the development team, we decided to move their release. <sighs> okay. Our objective with new Mr. Mo is to provide an impactful update to the game using your feedback. Blah, 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 blah. Who gives a fuck? Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see about this. It's proven to be a challenge. You want to ensure the experience will be a great one in releases. The Mercer Mode will still release this spring, so soon. So, um, we'll share more firm timing as soon as we're able. So, basically, we can expect this... <laughs> At, like, the very last day of spring, sometime in June, or whatever. If they- that's assuming this info come- this, um, update comes out during that time and they don't delay it again, which I honestly wouldn't put it past the studio because this is just blatantly incompetent. Uh, the Engineer class will be released alongside the Immersive Mode. Um, why? Uh, it shouldn't be that complicated to make a new class and release it. It could have been released this month, I think. Uh, we are hoping to release, and we, no, oh, oh, this is interesting. We are hoping, hoping to release episode two of this title update as well. Okay, look, Ubisoft, you don't have to have a big dramatic title update for fucking everything. Uh, you can release things in stages, like, the engineer class, I think, could have come out, like, now. I mean, how hard is it to make one class in Breakpoint? Um... Can't be that difficult because you you have all the rewards for going up each level. You have the challenges, and you have the class and its abilities. That I mean, they've been talking about the engineer since the game was announced. So honestly, this should have been already done by now. So at this point, they're just pulling on to this update in spite. Um, yeah, we understand you've been requesting more transparent communication. We provide, we aim to provide this whenever possible. Well, that's a fucking lie because we have been in the dark since the Terminator event about any of this. Like, you've got your promised roadmap, which, by the way, um, <laughs> it's not a roadmap if you keep pushing delays over and over again. Like, why would you do this? You, you clearly were not ready for any of this. There are a lot of moving parts in development, which has made locking dates challenging. Then don't release a road roadmap and an estimated delay date until it's actually ready to go. Crazy concept, I know, but uh, whatever. Uh, so we haven't been able to communicate as much as we would have liked. Yeah, calling bullshit on that. Like, come on. You could have at least given us something. Like, hey, here's something that we're working on for the immersive mode. You know, we apologize for that. No, you don't. Sorry. Calling bullshit. You, this has been a long um, pattern of behavior from you guys since year two of Wildlands, where you just go radio silence for months and then drop the, an update and give us, like, two, three days advance. So sometimes, like, literally, like, with the Mercenaries mode, that came out, like, a day after they announced it. So, sorry, I don't believe you're you're actually sorry. It's just bullshit corporate speak. And we'll be providing all details on these upcoming editions starting early next month. Check back in on March 5th for an intel drop on the immersive mode. Unless, of course, they delay it again, which I would not put past this fucking studio, uh, Ubisoft Paris. Signed, the Ghost Recon team, posted by Ubehave. Now, a couple interesting things going on here. One, this article from Polygon. 
um, came out uh, yesterday, February 23rd, 2020, uh, actually on a Sunday, so that's some dedication on Polygon's part, uh, or maybe it was written earlier and um, just published that time, whatever. Uh, so basically, this this article talks about um, Breakpoint's new immersive mode, and basically, pretty much all of our frustration and reactions um, about nothing coming from it. So I'll link this article down in the, the uh, description below. I think it's also up on my Twitter, so if you follow my Twitter, go talk about that. But, um... Yeah, so, of course, you know, weeks and weeks of asking, hey, what's going on? Can you communicate with us a little more? Can you give us at least some idea of what's coming with this immersive mode? That gets ignored, but as soon as the mainstream media or any journalistic source comes out with an article, oh, we gotta address it. Yeah, the timing, <laughs> a little suspicious there. So, um... Let me try to go back here because um, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about. So here's the thing. I expect to be disappointed by this immersive mode like because this team has delayed things over and over again. I don't think it's going to be all that good, to be honest. I And um, I, I don't think it's going to be anything special. I know uh, G Money Mozart talked about how it might be far more complicated than we expected, but this is Ubisoft Paris. They take the easy way out. Uh, I guess they're too busy eating cake and um, having gaming uh, build parties. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is Ubisoft Paris's uh, Twitter. Um, if you follow the Ghost Recon Red, you'll see people uh, making comments about how they're eating cake. Uh, too busy eating cake to work on a game. This is where this tweet's coming from. This was... Uh, January 10th, uh, January 10th, 2020, this was, to keep in mind of the timeline, this is before the Terminator event, and after their announcement mid-December that they were going to delay the title update that included the Terminator event uh, until mid to late January. So we're getting up to mid-January at this point, and, I mean, most people aren't really going to see this unless they're, like, really um, just doing their homework and keeping an eye on stews and stuff like that but as you can see this twitter about eating cake most of these comments are positive but you are gonna see some people tweet about waiting for breakpoint update news uh you got these people talking about it so um surprised those comments weren't deleted because that's just honestly a bad look for you guys and then um to start the year just right, okay, so this was during the Terminator event release, so maybe you can cut him a little slack, but a game jam, um, why? Like, why? I, I, I don't understand why you would have this stuff when you've obviously got a game with so many issues and um, lots of unhappy players, and you've got all this stuff that you're trying to do, like... Like, at the E3, um, the CEO, Yves, whatever his name, I can't pronounce it, I, I've never been good at speaking French, uh, actually studied French in high school and didn't do too well. That's another story for another time. But the point is, uh, they're expecting, oh, this is going to be bold and ambitious and all that stuff, and um, they keep delaying stuff. Which, by the way, let's talk about that engineer class. So... Originally, episode one was going to be from October to the end of January, right? And then episode two would be in um, in March. So the engineer class is now officially late. Well, actually, no, it's been late because um, February is supposed to be episode two. So yeah, the engineer class is late, um, which is really honestly annoying because there's no reason for it to be late. They could have just released, they could have just released an update with some bug fixes and the engineer class. That would have not been as bad, but as as this. But I mean, the season pass holders, which I'm one of them. I was <laughs> one of the idiots who paid for the ultimate edition, uh, pre-ordered it. Uh, not doing that mistake again. Uh, yeah, we're just getting screwed out of our the classes. So who knows how this is going to impact the roadmap 
from later on. Who knows if we're actually going to get three classes? Who knows if we're actually going to get two? I don't know. Because, um... Ugh. I'm going in circles here, but what I'm trying to say is I'm just really not happy about this news. I understand trying to make things right, and I get that, but the problem is you have been... The Ghost Recon team has been radio silent basically until days before the update. This has been a repeated pattern, and it's just frustrating to get a another delay after you release a roadmap saying, hey, we're going to release it at the end of February because that implies that it was almost done but this clearly isn't and clearly there's just no solid direction by the uh the managers of whoever's directing this effort into break into breakpoint uh, this just honestly just gives me a headache this is just it's terrible it's just incompetent and i think the bottom line is i mean i'm still going to do stuff uh, videos for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I don't see myself um, playing this game beyond year two, though. Beyond year one, excuse me. I'm. I don't see myself getting a year two pass if they even offer one. And honestly, this studio has been just so competent. Ubisoft Paris. They really, if Ubisoft corporate cares about the Ghost Recon franchise. They need to give it to another studio that's going to be more competent. Preferably uh, Red Storm Entertainment, the original company that made the Ghost Recon games along with Ubisoft. But if they can't do that, at least somebody other than these guys. Because this has just been, ever since the launch, it's just been constant amateur hour with these people. And I'm done defending them. I'm done uh, saying, okay, I'm... I'm just done defending them. This is just ridiculous. It's I'm rambling now, so I'm going to close this out. This video has been w way longer than it should have been, but it's just I'm frustrated. I I have honestly I have no reason to play Breakpoint other than to make videos. I I've, I've basically after the Terminator event, I was I upgraded all my guns to Mark 3 cuz the Behemoths give fo give 40 metal parts now and by the way, the spawn issue with them still isn't fixed, and we're not going to get that maybe until um, the next update. Um, so, whatever. So, bottom line, give Ghost Recon to another studio. Don't expect the immersive mode to be awesome. I think it's going to be... Uh, I don't think it's going to be all that good. I hope I'm wrong about that, but... Uh, it's just all this is just dumb like you're you're clearly trying to do too much like the engineer class and episode two and the immersive mode this isn't going to work out at one of those things is going to get delayed probably episode two because they're hoping you know i would think that dlc would be done by now you know considering that's one of the things the season pass holders paid for um but you're hoping Ugh. All right, I really am going to end it here. So, bottom line, this is bullshit. Um, Ubisoft Paris needs to do way better. And frankly, I'm just done defending this company and their decisions. And the bottom line is, if the next Ghost Recon game is made by Ubisoft Paris, I probably won't buy it. Because they clearly have no idea how to make a good game and how to do games as a service which by the way if this is supposed to be games as a service where's the service i mean borderlands 3 came out like a few weeks before um breakpoint and that's had constant constant hot fixes and updates that how many updates has this game have four five less than that i think i think three to four updates title updates excuse me i i could be wrong on that but not a whole lot certainly not compared to other games um yet you know actually give a damn basically oh, this, this is just beyond frustrating like it kills my desire to actually play the game really so uh i'm still gonna be doing breakpoint videos but um 
don't know. I'll have to make some decisions later on after uh, year one of Breakpoint runs this course and where I want to go with my channel. So I'll probably release a poll um, sometime soonish. I, okay, I should say soon. I I'll, I'll think I'll make a poll this week on uh, what content you guys would like to see. And let me know down in the comments what content you'd like to see. Um, I mean, as long as I'm having fun with it and you guys like it, I'll do it. But, um, yeah, the, the future is not looking good for Ghost Recon, Breakpoint, or the franchise in general. And honestly, it's just this incompetent team's fault. I mean, there's no other way around it. So, all right, I really am going to end the video now because I need to get some sleep. So, um... Hope you got some catharsis out of this rant. Um, kind of rambly, but whatever. Um, let me know what you guys think about this delay. Again, I understand trying to get it right, but you can't do that with months and months of silence. And honestly, the community managers have been just gone I don't even know what the Ubisoft is paying them for. Like, maybe they're more active on the forums. I don't go on the forums much. But on Reddit, they're, like, barely there. They don't, they don't even comment on stuff. So, I don't know. This this whole thing is just a mess. It really is. So, I'm just going to end it here and upload the video and um, go to bed. So, hope you guys found this cathartic. Uh, I still... Still have plans to make breakpoint videos. I haven't been super active in making them, and I do apologize for that. I will try to be more focused on stuff. I have a few projects in mind of stuff I want to do with breakpoint, but um, yep. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Penguin Overlord signing off, and I will catch y'all next time. Take care, guys.